Hi everyone, this is Francisco, and um, this is an update for the bubble generator which is a resemblance, sort of, similar, very similar to the Faraday flashlight. Um, I've actually um, I've actually perfected it further awesome. um, That's a bit. So, okay, it's going to be Well, I just, okay, so, I'm not, Quite certain, positive, if 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 this will work, you know, um, Yeah, it has to be experimented on. You know, obviously this is all research and development. Um, but I seen You know, because my previous video, I was talking about the momentum, the movements, going up and down, up and down. Um, and I was thinking about, you know, the, the rapidness. Of, of, um, of the generator, the machine, um, So, you know, during the day, um, you know, actually, now that I think about it, This is a completely new design and has limitations, but I think, I believe that it could make up, it could make up for what it can't.
<clears throat> I believe that I can make up for what it can't during the night. So this newer concepted idea is similar to solar panels, except that it won't require a bunch of them to produce the same amount of electricity. With this uh, idea that I got, it will basically it will basically it will basically produce. what 100 solar panels will produce and all that would be required will be very affordable materials. Probably the cost of one solar panel and the only way. that this will work is with the reflection of the sun's rays on a flat surface directed from the mirrors the mirrors will be placed horizontally and the reflection of the sun's rays will then be radiated vertically and so no no thank you I'm going to stay here. Okay. Okay. So. It's going to work the same way. It's going to go up and down, up and down. But. In this newer concepted idea. It will be with light. And, you know, you might be wondering, well, what's going to cause the light from, like,
going up and down? What was going to cause it to do that? And obviously it will be the mere Um, as it's on a horizontal platform, it will then tilt um, it will tilt uh very rapidly. Uh, left to right, left to right, uh, parallel to to the desired re- reflected wall. which will have the copper wiring and whatever else is uh, required to make this function Correctly, properly. Um, So, you you know, a lot of you might be wondering, well, (sighs) how, how do you plan? Or how, how do you see the machine? powering itself or how do you see the machine generating or becoming a full blown full scale generator that people will use if it has or if it requires moving parts electric electrically powered moving po- moving parts um so to answer that question it will be um adding math math um mathematical It's all math. So technically, what will happen is what is being produced will be more than what is required to power the machine. So much power and energy that it can make up for the loss productivity in the nighttime when the sun is or when the the machine is inactive because the sun's not out. <sighs> um, but for simplest terms, I, I would recommend people to experiment with the bubble generator first before jumping into any type of conclusions about this newer concepted idea because this newer accepted idea although I consider it to be a futuristic improvement 
I believe that right now what will work, what will work, and what can power every single appliance in the world will be the bubble generator. And um, once we perfect that, then we can move on to this more updated version. Um, and it might take <sighs> it might take a while, a couple years, probably longer, depending on. Well, there's many. I just think that for for the meantime, we should just focus on the bubble generator. You know, the bubble generator, and then we can be doing side experiments. Um. with with the solar solar rays and and um I just I came up with a uh, I just came up with a like a possibility And basically, it's, uh, what it is, is, okay, so, the mirror, doesn't have to be what you think of as a mirror. That right there, that right there is a mirror. It doesn't have to be created like this mirror has been created or what people in the world are accustomed to when mirrors are created we all know that a reflection of different materials Different elements can be created similar to chrome. Chrome is a good example of a reflected surface that can also act as a mirror. Now, we can actually technically purify pure gold as it's a good conductor of heat electricity and we can use that for the reflection of the sun's rays to the to the generator uh, coils, which then which will then produce the electricity. Um, so now we're not just depending on. 
on the solar panels to catch the sun's rays. We are forcing them to react to, to what we have placed within the generator to produce maximum amounts of electricity. So we are in control now. And where we are, um, we are technically utilizing the sun's rays to almost their full potential. Because we all know that as time goes by, this whole concept, this whole generator, this whole generator concept will be obviously perfected as time goes by. You know, I'm talking about in the future, um, it's 2021. It could be 10 years later, 20 years later, 30 years later, 40 years later, 50 years later. 100 years later, 200 years later, either way, um, you know, because right now, the sun's rays are technically stagnated like a pond that has had water for a very long time and it's well polluted you know but it's it's rich though it's rich but it's still stagnated and that's exactly what's happening right now like everywhere that's just the way it is I mean I think that uh, theoretically speaking that this whole world that we live in would be different if if it wasn't so what we're basically doing is it's not the word is not mimicking the word is it's not contradicting not influence influencing we are what's the word We are like we're taking advantage. That's kind of aligned with the word that I'm looking for in my mind. I'm, like it's there, but I just can't. Can't think of it yet. Um, but we we are uh, 
I, I, the words are coming to my mind like we are manipulating and taking advantage technically um, of uh, of the um, sun's rays. Another one is we are forcing. There's a, a force, a forcement. You know, authority. Power. And um, it can be created at any scale. But it will probably work. at a let's say a 12 inch um, length of you know of copper And the sun's rays can bounce back and forth. We can make it go the speed of light, possibly. Especially if we come up with a pattern. Um, like a wheel, revolutions per minute. Um... So technically, it doesn't even have to bounce up and down. It can, it can be a pattern on the reflecting surface to the copper on the vertical wall. And that thing could be running all day long. And just that alone will produce enough electricity.
to power. Probably the world. and more and more so You know, it's like, okay, I don't know if I lost any of you when I said the pattern, revolution pattern, is technically like like a blade for, for a sawzall or like a round... Um, table saw blade and it's in, in, in the shape of a disc it's a flat disc with a pattern and that pattern is just repeated all the way through and it's on a, on a disc which a disc is 360 degrees and what else is like that vehicles right um, so, <sighs> like, I'm obviously just thinking more about it. I would say... The smaller the intricate pattern for the rotary, the better. Because all it will require is for the sun's rays to go like this, all the way to the top. 